Yo, what's up everybody? It is your multimedia specialist, Bernard Fields, and I'm here to share with you today's tips, topics, and techniques for you, the designer, and also those curious clients. So we're going to create a video flyer. I don't know what they call them things officially, but I'm pretty sure everybody at this point has seen them around. They have been uh, introduced first to me via Instagram, but it's basically like this square video and it does like this little animation thing where it's like a a flyer and then the slides open and then it's like a video underneath and it shows for like 10 seconds and then it closes up and then it's like that's it uh well people have been asking well how do you do that um, and normally i tell people well you want to do that in like premiere pro or after effects but there's also another way that you can do it and that is in photoshop so for those people who are not into video as of yet and may feel a little intimidated by Premiere Pro and also After Effects, that is okay because I'm here to share with you how to do that in Photoshop. And hopefully you understand how Photoshop works, so I'm not going to go into the one-on-ones about layers and all that type of stuff. I just want you guys just to kind of follow along and understand that Photoshop, um, I don't know since when, I would say probably back maybe like three years now, so I guess that dates back to like, uh, I don't know if it was CC, maybe it was like CC, uh, or CS6, maybe, that you can do this video stuff. So anyway, I'm talking too much. Let's jump and dive right in. So I already went to, uh, to YouTube, and I typed in Deadpool trailer, and this is what came up. So I'm just going to grab, uh, let's just grab this trailer here. So I'm going to right-click it, and I'm going to copy link. And there is a website that is called convert2mp3.net. This is like a gem works like a charm. And you're going to uh, paste in, as it says right here, insert video link URL, I copied that from YouTube, paste it in here. And you have the option, you could do audio conversion or you can do video, we want to do video. So I'm doing an MP4 version. And you have the option, you can do the standard 720p uh, or you could do the 1080 uh, full HD. We're just going to stick with the 720. And then we're going to hit convert. And it's converting. It pulls the information and it does the download thing. And it says that it's going to be 29.54 uh, meg a bytes. So we hit download and it begins to download. And as you can see right here, it's downloading super duper fast. because I got super duper fast internet speed here. And it is done. And that's inside my download uh, folder. So now I'm going to go over here to Photoshop. And we're going to create a new document. So we're going to start off with a 720 by 720 document. And I'm going to name this, call it Dead Pool Video Flyer. And that movie was so freaking awesome. And we're going to go 720 by 720. And the reason why I'm going 720 by 720 is simple. It's because uh, the dimension as the height which is you want to go the shortest length of the video, uh, which is the height of the video is 720. So you're going to square that off. We go ahead, we hit OK. All right. And then we start designing. But uh, before we do that, I'm going to place that video here in my document. And bam, voila, there it is. So you, at this point, you're probably like wondering, well, it, it just looks like the beginning of the Deadpool trailer. Um, yes, and if you look over here to the right, uh, you will see that that is a layer and it's also a smart object. What you wanna do is you wanna go down to the bottom here and you wanna click on where it says timeline. You want to create video timeline. And there you have the full trailer right there in Photoshop, and it's a video. So you can scrub through, and scrubbing is a term for going through video footage. Um, and you're like, okay, well, let's see, what's the cool part? Like we've all seen this awesome part where he's sitting up there and he's doing his, uh, he's doing his thing. So let's go start about right here, Marvel. I think that's cool. Gonna scrub up and it snaps into place. 
And you're going to pull that back to the very beginning of your timeline. All right. And then you want to just find out where the 15 second marker is. And that's like right here at the beginning. Or if you want to, you could type it in uh, or scrub up here. And 15.01, 15 seconds. And you just take the rest of that footage as soon as the spinning beach ball death goes away. I don't understand that. I don't know. Does anybody else have that problem with the spinning beach ball of death ever since you like upgraded to El Capitan? I don't know. But this is what we have. We have our 15 seconds. And you're going to pull that out at the bottom so you can see a little bit more close up and this is what it's going to look like and you can press play or space bar and that's what you have okay it's playing through does all that awesome stuff and you're like oh man it just plays through and it's just looping yes it's freaking awesome right Okay, so now you can design around this. You can delete that background layer because we don't need it. Um, and we're going to create a little Deadpool uh, picture on top of this. If you look at your timeline here and, every, and everything that I'm doing, you will see that uh, it works top down. Okay, so I have my design complete. This is the portion that you guys kind of been waiting for. And you're like, okay, now how's this all going to work? How's this all going to fit in? Okay, so I'm, I'm going to uh, explain real quickly what you have here at the bottom here in Photoshop. Photoshop allows you to be able to do a uh, video um, in which I showed you this portion where I was able to pull the video in and I have where I want the 15 seconds to show. And then it plays all the way through to the end, but then you design your graphics on top. Um, and as I have it over here in my layers, so it is over here with your uh, timeline. This is called a timeline, and this is called your playhead. And at the top right here, you have your time. So from one second all the way up into 15 seconds. And I'm thinking that this is 24 frames a second, meaning for every uh second that transpires that is 24 frames so it's like one two three four five all the way up to 24 and then that equals one second okay so um this is a little you know something that you may want to know and this is also again for people who may be a little intimidated by uh what should i say by <clears throat> programs such as premiere pro and after effects this is like the beginning of a great relationship. This is how you do it. All right, so you kind of pull all that up. Okay, and um, for those who are watching too, like you may know quicker ways, like you know shortcut keys, but again, I don't really mess with Photoshop when it comes to video. I just know that you can do it. And what I'm doing now is I'm pulling each of my layers the full length of the timeline. Because as you can see, if you don't do that, when you get to a certain point, then it's like, oh, crap. Like, why, why am I missing the burlap? Why am I missing the zipper? It's because if you see here at this timeline, looking down, you're only seeing Deadpool. You're seeing the Deadpool graphic title. Uh, and then it's like you're missing like this portion right here, which I'll pull this up and you will see it'll pop up once I let go. It pops up. Now you see that that piece is there. Um, these other layers, and that's also another thing, shame on me. Normally I, 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 uh, I um, label my layers so I know exactly what, what is what, but um, for time's sake and me just kind of flying through it, I'm not, and I kind of already have in my mind what I want. Okay, so now you have, uh, your image completely covered up. Now, I've never done this portion before. I'm just going to test it out to see if it works uh, when it comes to do grouping things together. Uh, and it does. It does work. 
Um, I don't know if you have uh, yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Well, let's try this out. All right, I'm just going to start naming stuff. Deadpool. It's the one that's on top. All right, so you can always turn your layers on and off by over here in your actual layers, like on and off. Okay, uh, so you can kind of stay organized as to where, you know, where things are. Okay, uh, let's see here. Now you want to go down here to your title. Over here in your layers, and I'm just selecting and I'm doing Command G to group it. Just, just to stay better organized. And then I'll just call this title. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna call this one, of course. I don't have to group that, it's just the um, uh, logo. All right, and then over here we have, uh, let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have the zipper and the burlap, all that stuff. Now, it's gonna be hard to try to animate all these pieces. So the best thing to do with that is to just go ahead and flatten. Like merge, I should say. Merge, uh, merge layers, let's see. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, so you have your uh, dead pool fabric. I can move this down. All right. And then you have the dead pool. Let's call it dead pool trailer. Okay, so you have these <clears throat> grouped layers. You also have your Deadpool trailer, uh, Deadpool um, trailer, and you also have your Deadpool like fabric and logo and all that type of stuff. Now, I'm opening this up so you can see that there's uh, positions or things that you can move um, over time. And you have your little stopwatch here. Stopwatch just basically says that at this particular point in this timeline, this is what it's going to look like with your opacity, your style, and also transformation, meaning um, the position. And I may be thinking rotation too, I'm not too sure, 100% sure. But we're, again, we're just kind of just doing the basic here. All right, so we have here, uh, I'm gonna start out with, hmm, what can we see? What can we say, what can we say? Let's start off by first, before I do anything, let's work on a zipper portion. So I'm gonna turn off Deadpool, the title, I'm gonna turn off the logo. We're gonna work on just getting this zipper because you need, actually you need two of these um, here. So I'm going to use my, uh, let's see, not quick selection. All right. Lasso this, lasso this baby. So kind of just going across here by hand. And of course, if you really want to get down, then of course you would take your time and you would just go through with the fine tooth comb, no pun intended, and you will make this look absolutely perfect and then go down here and you go let go all right and then what you're going to do you're going to create two two layers of the, uh, the Deadpool fabric one is going to be top the other one is going to be bottom Deadpool fabric and so for the top portion 
I just turned off this bottom one so you can see exactly what it does. You're going to go ahead and you're going to create a mask. All right, so you kind of see that there's this top portion piece here going with that type of action going, right? And you're going to take and you're going to hold down option. You're going to click that layer mask and you're going to drag it down below. Okay, you're going to turn that layer on. And then inside of your mask, you're going to hit Command I to invert that. Okay. And then because you see like there's a super thin white line there, like for me personally, that would bother me. But to the naked eye, people really wouldn't catch that. But for me, I'm like, oh, that really gets on my nerves. So what I would do, I would take and I would nudge um, that up just a bit. Let's see, hold down Command, uh, click, and then let's see, hold up V, and you would just nudge that up to delete that. Okay, so you can see that it's not there. And you also have to make sure that you unlock that layer. But of course, I'm pretty sure for people who are Photoshop savvy, you guys know that, hopefully. But now, so now you have your top layer piece that's cut away, and you also have your bottom piece that is a cutaway. Okay, and you have that happening over here in your timeline. All right, so what you want to do is you want to open this up, both of those layers, so or I should say toggle them down so you can see what you're going to be doing. And it's going to, see, open up like this. It's going to um, have, uh, let's see, maybe like one second. You see, in the beginning, we're going to go ahead. It's going to be closed in the beginning. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit transform for, I'm sorry, hit the wrong one, not the logo. We want to hit transform uh, the position. We want to do the position down here. All right, then you're going to move forward. Okay, and then you're going to do for the bottom one, you're going to just simply just, woo, not drag it down that far. I'm going to drag it down maybe like about right, right here. And as you do that, you see that it has created a new position keyframe. Those are what those call. Okay. All right. And then we're going to do the same thing for the top. You're going to drag that up. To your liking. Let me drag it down so I can see a little bit more. Okay. Like that. And as it plays, you can see, like, okay, this is how much I'm going to be seeing of my video. Right? And then he drops down, he does his thing, blah, 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 blah. And it's freaking awesome, right? You're like, mission accomplished. But for me, I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, well, that edge is pretty hideously jagged. Uh, so as it's open, I'm like, okay, I, I want to add a uh, drop shadow to this. Or maybe an outer glow, probably do an outer glow. Uh, let's see, where are you, outer glow? right here all right and instead of a, 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 being a glow we're going to just make that dark and i take it off the screen we're going to make it a multiply and we're going to up the size a bit like that All right, and we're going to do the same thing down here at the bottom. Easy, just option or alt, click that effect, drag it on top, and then you're done. So now as it plays through, it doesn't have that too much of a harsh edge. All right, cool. So like that's 
that's good right there. Opens. And that's pretty much it. Like you could literally, you can stop right here. It, you pretty much get the picture, the idea. And I'm just gonna leave it open here like that. Uh, and let's see, let's see what we're gonna do with, um, now that we're done with these fabric layers, let's go ahead and turn on our Deadpool logo layer, okay? So we want that to, maybe let's do a fade on that. So we toggle that down and we see opacity. So here we can say, um, here the opacity is, is still at 100. As it opens up, by the time it gets to one or two seconds, let's say one second, um, the opacity, it drops down to zero. And you control all that over here. And you see it added a keyframe. So it's, it does this voom, that type of deal. Right? Um, and then you also want to do a transform. So it starts in the beginning, it's like that. And then uh, let's see, what if I, see if I could change the, um, the size, see if that would do anything. Maybe make it small. If I make it small, will it shrink? Look at that, it does. How awesome is that? So it looks like it's kind of getting sucked into like, oh my God, that's so freaking awesome. Okay, so you can pretty do some pretty cool things here, as you can see. So let's say that that happens. Um, and let's say you want it to, like it does that. And then let's close that. Let's go to the title. Let's turn the title on. Like you yeah, had a title. The title rocks, okay? We toggle that down. And there's a simple opacity that you can do with the group. You don't get to do all the other cool things such as the, the layer tra uh, transformation. You have to do that for the, each individual uh, layer. And I don't feel like doing that right now. I could because uh, I just can, but this is just a tutorial to show you the basics. So let's say that at this point, as uh, as this kind of goes away, at this point right here, around two seconds, um, Deadpool is going to be in, in full effect, opacity wise. But right about here, as this is fading out, Deadpool should be fading in the title. So let's go ahead and knock this down to zero. Okay, and then it's like, there it is. Boom. Or just have it, mm, I feel like it should pop a little quicker instead of just taking too long. So what you can do is you can grab these and you can slide these uh, key points, key frames around so that it comes in quicker. So it's like Deadpool fades in, boom, Marvel. You got Wade, and he's doing his thing, right? And then you're watching it, and you're like, oh, this is so awesome. He does all this cool stuff. And right here, we're going to have him break the fourth wall. Oh my God, he just scared me. Okay, so Deadpool's right here. Breaking the fourth wall. All right, and we're going to add, uh, let's see. We can have him fade in, or we can just have him slide completely in, like boom, in your face. Slides in. 
right here, we want him to be completely slid in. All right, so we have Deadpool here, transform, mage, or transform. We hit that, and we're going to back up because we don't want him to be in frame. So now we're just going to just move him. And there, he, he's added. Boom. So it's like, shkoosh, you know? I like special effects. Bam. Hold on. Bam. Take that frame, put it right there. Boom. You know what? I might have him fade in because I kind of, I don't know. Opacity, let's go ahead and try that. Opacity is at 100%. Right here, he is at zero opacity. Boom. Yeah, I like that. Boom. Right? Cool. All right, and then let's go back down to this uh, this logo here. Because the logo, as you can see, is off screen. So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead. And we're going to have it just pop up maybe like from the bottom. So like let's have it. All right, after he comes in here, then we'll just go ahead and have the transformation, transformation, I mean, opacity or transform opacity. Then we're going to go ahead and find out where he is. We're going to move it down here. Because at this point, we want it to be right there, but you can't see it. Right. And then we're going to move a frame ahead. Well, first of all, we've got to hit enter. Move a frame ahead. And then we're going to uh, turn opacity back up to 100. And we're going to also transform it. Uh, Make it a little bit bigger. And maybe off to the side like that. Something like that. And the reason why he's moving off from the side like this is because in this frame, he's actually right here. So um let me see copy that frame delete that frame uh let me see undo that well i don't need to undo that let's move this back here and let's move him Right here. Oh, you know what I did wrong? Let's see, let's try this again. See, that's the thing about uh, doing this stuff live is that, oh yeah, he makes mistakes, he's not perfect. You're daggone right, I'm not perfect. So far from it. Okay, so I move him over. I put him in position. I move forward. Opacity. And I'm also going to make him grow. Like that. And I'm going to have him move up a little bit. Like that. So it's kind of like vroom, vroom. I like special effects again, whoa, right? And then, um, I don't know. I don't want to overkill it, no pun intended, but that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, 
you can always uh, reverse everything and just kind of you know close this you know close the the zipper the fabric and uh, make it you know back to the way that it was. Uh, let's see here. I might I might just do that just for the sake of it all. So let's see. Um, that and that one uh, for the top fabric. Well, first of all, you want to copy these two. Copy. And then you want to uh, let's see, will it paste? I'm not too sure. Nope, it didn't. Okay, let's try this. No. No, that didn't work either. I mean, I would literally have to, let me see, I'll just keyframe it, keyframe it. Um, same thing with the bottom. Keyframe it, keyframe it. And then have it just do it quicker, close a little bit quicker. All right, let's see here. Uh, I don't know if, if it will allow me to close them both at the same time. Okay. Let's see if that worked. Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. I just have to make sure I select both the uh, position, the graphic position, and also the the layer mask position too, and then I can close them both. Nudge them down. Whoa. Whoops. Let's try it again. Perfect. All right, and then at this point, because I already had like the logo kind of came in there, boom, this closes. And then I'm going to have the Deadpool logo. I'm just going to take that layer at this position. I'm going to move it up. And as you see, it creates a, a keyframe. And I'm also going to size him up like this. And that's it. So when I play this back, you see it goes through. It plays a little slow because it's, it's trying to process all that. You know, it's all like, oh yeah, I'm watching this pretty cool thing. Does his thing, he pops up. And he popped in a little too quick. I don't like the way he popped in. He popped in so fast. My Deadpool guy, I wanted him to kind of fade in like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab this keyframe and that keyframe. And I'm going to pull that back. So it takes like a second for him to fade in. Boom, damn, damn. All right, cool, that's cool enough for me. Let's go ahead and let's export that again. Render video. You want to replace it? Yes. Uh, couldn't replace it. Uh, okay, well, let's go ahead and try to re export it again with another like title. Let's call it two. All right. 
exporting video. And I should be saying voila pretty soon. And I will upload this. So let's go ahead and just dump to the desktop because it's going to be done here shortly. Hide that. As you can see, it's developing right there. And there it is. All right, so that's cool. All right, that's that's good enough. That's GE for me. And I thank you guys for watching my show. Again, my name is Bernard S. Fields. I'm a multimedia specialist. You can also just tune in to me on Twitter at um, Bernard S. Fields. You can again find me on Facebook at fb.com, facebook.com slash N-U-N-C-I-O. I will be doing uh, weekly tutorials, like quick tips. And this really wasn't a quick tip. It was kind of long. But I'm going to take this video and I'm going to chop it down to the bare basics so that you guys kind of get the idea on exactly how to just get from point A to point B and cut out everything that's in between A and B. I don't know. But thank you guys for tuning in. And until next time, guys, always remember to put forth your best.